What is happening guys? Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. It is Range Day Bro with Energetic Armament here today to talk to you about arguably one of my favorite suppressors of all time. Certainly my favorite can for a bolt gun, a precision gun type setup, and that is the Lux. We have it here in a 6.5 version and a 7.62, so let's get into it. So before we get into the specs on this thing and the nitty gritty on length and size and weight and all that good stuff, we first have to talk about the idea behind the Lux suppressor and who it's really meant for. So who is this suppressor really designed for? And it's designed for anyone who's a hunter, who's a long range shooter, who wants to prioritize weight savings as well as accuracy while not sacrificing sound reduction. Here we have both versions of the silencer, one in 6.5 Creedmoor and one in 7.62. They do have slightly different specs. So as you saw in the intro, most of that footage was from the 6.5 version of the silencer, but we're gonna go over the specs of both because they do vary slightly. However, before we go over the differences, let's first talk about what they have in common. They are both a tubeless design with seven baffle stacks manufactured from American source titanium, which keeps the weight down while not sacrificing internal volume. They both feature Energetic Armament's patented serial ID ring. The serial ID ring allows allows us to have extremely fast turnaround times. If there ever were an issue for any reason, we could just simply drill out that swage point, unthread the serial ID ring, which is the suppressor, thread it on a new core, reswage it and send it back out the door. In fact, the UPS driver often doesn't even leave the facility by the time we get the suppressor repaired and sent back out to you. Both of these silencers are Bravo Hub compatible, although we do recommend you direct thread them. It is the best for accuracy and consistency as far as that point of impact shift. This can was also designed to have a minimal point of impact shift when shooting suppressed versus unsuppressed with those precision rifle shooters in mind. I experienced about a one inch shift that was consistent on my seven millimeter PRC right here, shooting it suppressed versus unsuppressed. And every time I unthreaded and rethreaded the suppressor back onto the gun, that POI shift was exactly the same. When you put a suppressor on a gun, it's gonna have a point of impact shift, but what you want is that consistency so that you know when you add the suppressor to the rifle, how that bullet is gonna react. Both of these suppressors also feature a fixed front cap. So now that we've talked about some of the similarities, let's talk about a few of the differences in the specs between the 6.5 Creedmoor version and the 7.62 version. The assembled weight with the direct thread mount of the 6.5 Creedmoor Lux that you see right here is 8.99 ounces, making it an absolute featherweight. And the 7.62 Lux is 9.84 ounces with the direct thread mount, again, making it one of the lightest cans on the market for its sound reduction. Both of these silencers are 7.9 inches long with the direct thread mount, and their widest diameter is is 1.5 inches at the serial ID ring. The entire silencer, including the direct thread mount, is machined from a grade five titanium, and they both have an extremely robust DLC finish. The Lux 762 is obviously rated for 762 or any smaller projectiles, including, but not limited to, 308 Winchester, 300 Winchester Magnum, 65 Creedmoor, 65 PRC, 300 Blackout, 300 PRC, 300 Norma Mag, and also, obviously, as we have it sitting today on this seven millimeter PRC from Springfield. The 6.5 millimeter Lux is rated for any caliber at 6.5 millimeter or smaller, including, but not limited to, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, and 2.23 and 5.56. As I mentioned earlier, the Lux is designed for a precision bolt gun setup or a hunting rifle, something like that, or moderate firing schedules on semi-auto platforms. There are no barrel length restrictions for a moderate shooting schedule. However, for Magnum calibers, it is a 20 inch minimum barrel length. So what's gonna come in the box with your Lux 762 or 6.5 Creedmoor suppressor? Obviously the suppressor itself, it's gonna come with a multi-wrench tool for you to work on it. One of our box blocks, which is an extremely handy tool that allows you to clamp down on the suppressor body while it's in a vise without marring or damaging the suppressor. So it's much easier to work on it than having to use two wrenches like some other manufacturers do. It's gonna come with a direct thread mount, a packet of anti-seize, instructions, and decals. Now, something you might notice a little different about the 6.5 Creedmoor version that you see today on the Q-Fix is that it has the taper, direct thread taper mount that you see right here. This is a phenomenal option that we actually offer now. So if you have a SIG barrel, any kind of gun like the Q here that has a taper barrel, you can still direct thread mount these guys without having to have a taper adapter, which is really cool and it works phenomenally well. But that is gonna wrap it up for the video today, guys. But just as a bonus, I want to take a moment, set the 6.5 down, just show you guys exactly how quiet this is in real time with my lapel mic that you see right here from DJI. We have this thing calibrated. I have my four clicks of adjustment in. We're looking at a 235 yard target. Again, this Lux is direct threaded to the Springfield Waypoint 2020 in seven millimeter PRC. So I just wanna take a moment and take a couple shots to show you guys exactly how quiet it is without ear pro on at this 235 yard target. And you'll hear very clearly how much louder the steel is than the actual gun. Unbelievable, sounds phenomenal. Also, 
It really cuts down the recoil on this thing as well. And the concussion, which is saying a lot about seven millimeter PRC. So as you can see, this can does not sacrifice performance, even though it is extremely lightweight, calming down and taming the extremely heavy hitting seven PRC. It has quickly become one of my favorite suppressors of all time. Uh, but definitely, certainly my favorite suppressor for a bolt gun or hunting gun application. So hunting season is upon us here in Texas. If you guys need a suppressor, look no further with these short wait times than the Energetic Armament Lux. And until next time, guys, thank you for staying to the end of the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.